So ladies and gentlemen, from 11th to 18th of November, Saturn will be stationary in the zodiac sign of Aquarius. And I would always say this is a once in a lifetime opportunity because this is the last time Saturn will go direct in the sign of Aquarius. And as you know, before going direct, when now it is uh, retrograde, it will first become stationary, then it will go direct, right? So therefore, this moment will again come after 27 uh, or year, 28 years later, okay? So, many of us <laughs> will live till then. <laughs> I hope everybody does, right? But it is possible that we do not see this transit because material world as you know is a place of misery and it's very unpredictable right who knows who stays and who doesn't so this is a once in a millennium opportunity or i would say a lifetime because aquarius is the multicone sign of saturn as you know and saturn does amazing in this now when i say saturn does amazing in this what does it mean does it mean that you know uh, everybody becomes a millionaire, billionaire. No, it does not mean that. It means, suppose Saturn is the lord of your 10th house. So now it means you have actually the possibility to do something amazing in your profession. Irrespective of how you, how, however successful you are, you, you may not become, become a millionaire or a billionaire, as I already said, but you can give your full, all right? So, Today, exactly that we are going to discuss what should you do during this period so that you can benefit yourself. And for this, primarily, you have to check the two houses that Saturn rules in your horoscope as per your ascendant, okay? Not as per moon sign, sun sign, as per your lagna, ascendant, rising sign. And only that will matter, all right? God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And for personalized horoscope consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up if you are new. So the first thing that everybody should do is give 1000%. Because this is a period where the retrogression is kind of ending and the direct motion is starting. So this means... This period will demand 1000% from you and you should not shy away from giving it or doing that. So many people have mailed me, messaged me, DM'd me, whatever, by saying that, you know, big things are waiting and, you know, it's somehow not happening. When it will happen, uh, will it even happen or will I leave it? And then I'm like, wait, 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 let this stationary transit happen. And then when Saturn goes direct, it will happen. So, for example, if you know, your uh, Saturn is uh, maybe the second lord, sixth lord or tenth lord, then please go all in, all out <laughs> for your profession. Because this is a period where you might actually make astronomical gains in your profession. You will be like, yes, I have to show it to the world and not just for, you know, like literally showing off or uh, putting status updates, but you will have to show to yourself that you are somebody of value. You are a person of value. You can contribute to something bigger. So therefore, if you are in a situation where you are thinking, should I do this? Should I not? Should I take up this challenge or should I not take up this challenge? Then you, then don't don't be in that situation. Go and take up that challenge. Now, when I say challenge, I don't mean put all your money into a penny stocks or meme coins. I'm not saying that, okay? But if there's an opportunity which you want to pursue, then this is the best period because now you have to go all in, all out, 1000%, all right? And don't shy away from it. Number two, ride the panic. Now, what is this? There will be panic. There will be that situation where your heart is, you know, boop, 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 and you are like, oh my God, when when, when is this stopping? Well, it may, it may not stop for some time. <laughs> so therefore, if you feel that there is something that you know you should do, but you are having panic because you think, what if I don't complete that? What if I lose that? Well, if that is the situation, then you need to understand that you cannot get rid of this. 
you have to ride through it. It's like, you know, when a sea is turbulent, what happens? You know, can you just sit there and do nothing? No, you will, either you will sink or you will have to move uh, with the waves, right? So therefore, irrespective of what is going on in your life, whichever area, uh, whichever area Saturn rules in your chart, there will be this these turbulent waves because you will be forced to take sides, okay? So therefore, uh, embrace the fear, embrace the energy, embrace the nervousness and flow with it. Rather than, uh, if you don't flow, then you will sink, okay? Number three, try not to make abrupt de decisions which you might regret later. Mm -hmm. If you make abrupt decisions now because, you know, you don't like something or somebody, then you want to regret later. Because later on what happens, the nervous energy will be gone and you will be able to see things more clearly. And the moment you uh, see things more clearly, you will realize, oh, I should have not done it. Okay. So therefore, please understand that you have to go all in, go all out. But, 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 but that does not mean you have to stop doing something or cut something. Okay. Now, of course, if time demands that maybe you might have to do that okay so for example if saturn is your lagna lord it might happen that you know you are uh, you stop taking some treatment you know and uh, you take some other treatment if you have some health issues but that does not mean you have to disregard the doctor or the person who suggested that to you okay that you might regret later so you may change uh, the person or the institution or the domain but you should not do it in a way which you regret later all right Number four, hold your breath, do meditation, control the control the vayu, otherwise it will be problematic. Okay, you may have a lot of tension, a lot of nervous anxiety, and as I said, you know, ride the panic. But you cannot do it just, you know, just by doing nothing. You cannot just say, no, no, I'll ride the panic, you know, because you will get sleepless nights, okay? So therefore, please do meditation, do pranayam. You can do anulom bilom pranayam. Then, you know, kapal bhati, bhastrika pranayam. You can do all this because Saturn represents the vayu. Uh, Saturn is a vayu tattva planet, right? So therefore, when Saturn dasha comes or, you know, when there's a prominent transit of Saturn, there could be issues related to the air element in your body, okay? So therefore, now when the air element goes, uh, go goes out of control, you know, there is this anxiety and all these things you will develop. Okay, so therefore, please, please, please do some pranayam and do some chanting of mantras. Like, for example, Om Namo Narayana. This is also a mantra that you can chant. Take a mala and chant it 108 times and you will be benefited. Okay, and the next, you need to understand it's for your own good that this is happening. You may you may be like, no, I cannot tolerate this. You know, I I just cannot stand this. But need me. It is for your good, my dear sir, my dear madam. Nobody else will be benefited from this as much as you yourself. Okay, so therefore, if you have issues and problems in your life, and you are now feeling that yes, there is a time where now is the time where I I need to make a decision. It's very painful. Maybe I have to leave something, leave somebody in an amicable way, as I said. But nonetheless, if your situation is that you are unable to do something because of fear or attachment, then uh, this is not going to be good for you. Okay, so in short, this is a great period to take revolutionary steps in your life and ride, ride the panic, do mantra meditation, do pranayam. And understand, it is for your own good. Saturn is doing this to improve your life. Okay, even if it is painful. Remember always, when the Sagar Manthan Leela happened, first the wish came out. Okay. And then the nectar came out. So, if you want the wish, uh, if you want the nectar to come out, the wish has to come out, right? It can't be the other way around, right? So, therefore, uh, it's all right. You will pass through it. Um, yeah, quite turbulent, quite intense periods. But nonetheless, it will depend on your horoscope, your lordships of Saturn as per the Ascendant and most importantly, Mahadasha and Antardasha. Alright? So do not see this transit like every other transit like as I say, uh, as I've said for a thousand times or more, 
don't see transits in isolation read them only after reading your chart and your dashas okay only then you will get the right picture all right so therefore don't panic do whatever is required and remember this is a once in a lifetime opportunity all right thank you so much please take care if you are new then don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like this video and if you want a personalized horoscope consultation from me regarding your career marriage health spiritual life please go to the website in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you so much jai siya ram